So, for many moons now, there has been an effect in the back of the mind, my mind, that I've wanted to try. And that is, of course, the Carl's Jr. burger falling from the sky effect thing. So, without further ado, here's the Carl's Jr. falling hamburger effect and two other food advertising techniques as well. Let's start out with the materials. The first thing you'll need is two foam core white poster boards. You'll also need fishing line and duct tape as well as a hamburger, obviously. I got mine from the wonderful land of Hardee's. An actual fast food hamburger is far from perfect for advertising, so we'll be making a few modifications before we shoot. The first of which is to take off anything that could splatter onto our perfect white background, like ketchup. I also removed any ingredients that I wouldn't be able to fit onto a fishing line such as pickles, onions. Finally, I added lettuce and a stronger slice of cheese. Next, let's talk about my setup for filming this. I started out by threading the fishing line through one of the poster boards and duct taping it in place on the other side. Next, I threaded the fishing line through each of the burger ingredients. Finally, I tied the other end of the fishing line to a board above me, in this case, my bed, and then set up my camera and light. Now it was time to drop the burger. As you can see, even though it did stay on the string, the first attempt was still a failure. There were four reasons for this. The burger was too short, it didn't bounce enough, the ingredients stuck together, and the entire thing happened too quickly. So I went back the next day for a second attempt at the same effect. This time, I made a few modifications. I doubled up on cheese and added more lettuce all over the place. This was to add height to the burger, which definitely worked. The lettuce also caused the burger to bounce more when it hit the ground and kept the ingredients from sticking together. I also refrigerated the ingredients individually this time so that they wouldn't stick together, but also wouldn't become all floppy and lose their shape. Finally, to solve the problem of the burger falling too quickly, I used an iPhone to shoot this in slow motion, and I was actually extremely pleased with the result that I got. Yes. Of course, even after color correction, it doesn't compare to the advertisements, but who knows how long it took to make this whereas we just did it with some fishing line and poster board. Well, now that you've mastered the technique of the falling burger, just objectify women, and the Carl's Jr. advertising world is your oyster. But before the video ends, Let's look at a couple other simple food advertising techniques. The first of which is to put hairspray on fruit to make it shinier. Now let's not kid ourselves, of course I have some hairspray lying around. So we'll take my boy Timmy Tomato, hit him with some hairspray, and it, it's not that big of a difference. It's a little shinier, I guess. Hairspray doesn't work in your hair, doesn't work on fruit. I've tried both so that you don't have to, you're welcome. Now, a slightly more reliable technique is color correcting foods for their packaging. When we're designing the packaging or the wrapper for a food item, we can use color alteration to make it look more appetizing or more natural. For example, look at this protein bar. On the packaging, it looks like sort of a light tan cookie type color, when in reality, the actual bar is like cheap spray tan yellow. But it's okay, with some basic color correction, we can match the bar to its wrapper. If you're considering subscribing to my channel, I make videos every week. Just throwing that out there. You can do that if you want. Anyway, that is all for this week's video, and I hope that I see as many of you as possible in the next one.